Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video we're talking about automatic wind watches. Automatic wind watches are popular with a lot of people in the preparedness community because, well, we know that if the aliens ever invade by airdropping bird flu infected clown zombies, they're going to precede that wave of attack with an EMP pulse, which would essentially knock out everyone else's electronic watches. How's anyone going to know what time to watch their favorite TV shows? They'd be f***ed. So, we're going to talk about these, how to manage these. If you have an automatic wind watch, Sometimes they can run too fast, sometimes they can run too slow. It's not that you're not moving your arm around fast enough or you're moving your arms around too much. There's a little setting inside here and I'm going to show you how to get inside and how to fix it. I have a Seiko 5 watch with automatic winding and it loses time. It loses about five minutes every week. So I'm constantly having to reset it. And at first I was kind of okay with that, but then I realized that's kind of lame because you can adjust these. So in this video, I'm going to show you both how to open up the back of this and I am going to show you how to uh, change the speed of the of the watch. Now this is a very novel video. I went out on YouTube to try to find out how to do this myself and an astonishing number of videos on this topic uh, don't show the part of the video that they're about. I've seen videos that are about opening up the back of this and then they cut away while the person actually opens up the back and has some text on the screen about how difficult it was and then I've seen videos that are about adjusting this thing and then they cut away when the person actually does the adjustment it's a really weird uh, feature of the genre of, of watch adjustment videos. So this video is going to be show everything. I'm actually going to show you what I'm doing. And the first step here is to get the back open. Uh, I bought a little tool that was only $10 on Amazon to open up the back. It's got this piece and this piece. And uh, this holds the watch and this does the twisting. I'm going to cut to a close-up camera view so you can actually see what I'm doing. Here's the back of the watch here, and you can see all the inner workings. And I'm going to lock it down into this device right here by seating it right between these four little adjustable plastic uh, holders. And this little screw dial right here tightens to lock it down into place. And snugging it in there. Again, this was just... Uh, about $10 on Amazon. And then the next step is I'm gonna take this device, which has these two grabbers, which grab the outside edges here. You can see that there's these indentations on opposite sides. So I've, had, I've set this up so that it'll fit into two of these. And I'm gonna unscrew it just by twisting, twisting it along there. Here we go. I'm going counterclockwise. There we go. So now it's loosened up. And you continue screwing it counterclockwise to get this back off here. Being very careful not to get anything inside there. You can see the little gasket ring for the waterproofing here. And I'm just going to make sure that that stays seated. I'm using a little copper wire to sort of adjust all this. And get that back in so It'll be in the proper position later on when I close it up. All right. Now, the thing that we need to adjust is right inside here. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. And you can see this bit right here. There are two little arms coming off here. And one of these I need to adjust. In, it is the top one. It's this one right here. And you can see here there's a, a minus and a plus sign. And if I push this in the direction of the 
uh, minus sign, which would be clockwise. That'll slow it down. And if I push it in the direction of the plus sign, which is counterclockwise, it will speed it up. Now I'm just going to give it the tiniest little tap because like I said, I only have about five minutes per week and I want to speed it up. So I'm going to just tap it. There we go. I just nudged it just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit there. So what I'll do is I'm going to close this back up and I will just see how the watch keeps time for the week. I'm going to log, uh, resync it with real time. And for the week, I'll just kind of go in and, and see how it does. And if I'm finding that it's still running a little slow, I'll open it up again. I'll just nudge it a little more in that counterclockwise direction. And if I find out that it is running a little fast, like if I hit it too much, I'm just going to pull it back this way. So that's it. I hope you found this helpful actually seeing the adjustments. And uh, if you have a Seiko 5 watch and you want to make these adjustments, don't be, don't be afraid of doing it. It's pretty easy to go in here. And, uh, you know, as long as you put everything back the way that it was and you don't drop anything else in there, dust, spit, anything like that, you should be good. So that's it. Good luck. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.